Nicky Hawkins outside the London Stadium, West Ham Fan TV. Uh, Luke, last interview of the night. Um, look, that performance was probably one of the worst I've ever seen at this London Stadium. We got torn to pieces, to be quite honest. Uh, yeah, and it's not the first time because, you know, you know, next level, they said, this is Newcastle United who are in a similar situation. They don't like their board. Um, they're running on scraps. They're their transfers are on scraps and they've done the double over us scoring six goals I can't I can't get my head around it we are so far off what we need to be at either this season if we beat the drop it will be next season because when those teams you had the, the Aston Villas they sit year after year they might just about survive Sunderland but then they go that is what will happen to us because we don't invest properly we we don't invest right in our squad you know last season we all thought we had a goalkeeping issue in Adrian, which we, we obviously don't. You know, goalkeepers make mistakes. Joe Hart's come in, obviously, on big money. But, you know, Hernandez, who's not even getting game time, 140 grand a week. Andy Carroll, 100 grand, 80 grand a week. And they don't, you know, we haven't got enough. They're on the bench. I mean, today, Luke, uh, we had the talent out there, mate. It was a problem with a desire. I don't think we had the talent out there. You know, Obiang and, and Kiati in the middle, uh, they're like the Chuckle Brothers in there. You know, we've got the Dildo Brothers running the club and then the Chuckle Brothers in midfield. Because, I mean, I called it on the other night and I got a lot of stick for it that Obiang has been so poor and he's just inc inconsistent without Mark Noble next to him. You know, Kiate as well. I mean, why wasn't Declan Rice playing after that great performance against Stoke? And Kiate, who's been injured, goes straight back into the side. Nice. Like, I, I, I don't really get that, um, to be honest. I mean, we're so far off. Um, you know, there's the desire there from Arnie, who's in good form. Why are you took that penalty? I don't know. It was one of the worst penalties I've ever seen. As soon as he started running up, you could see where he's going. It's a poor penalty. Um, <laughs> At least someone's in good spirits, yeah, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's only a few good performances out there. Arthur again, but we're so far off. We're, there's no squad depth there. Um, we desperately need January to come and actually sign decent players that we need. They're going to change the squad. But I'm, I am seriously worried because if it's not this season, I think it will be next season that we actually do go down because we don't invest properly. There's, there's no structure at this football club. We're in big trouble. Um, you know, we're, we're back to square one. And I, I can't stress the importance of Boxing Day now because, you know, we're all sacking off spending time with our family to go and watch this. Yeah. And we need a performance there. And Bournemouth are in bad a bad position they're, they're worse than us at the moment and we need to win that game well they're two massive games now Luke um, today was a massive game that yeah. makes the onus on them two even bigger it does I mean Defoe as well it's already I'm having nightmares about that one especially with the army coming here today and scoring <laughs> it's, it's so, but the thing is Bournemouth are not, they're not the best side in the world but they got pace and that's one thing we lack you know Newcastle have outrun us today with their pace and we've got none of that mm. you know Ethan said it earlier that the Strikers like Andy Carroll, they're such a rare breed. They're, they're a dying breed that these big, tall strikers are just dying off in football because they can't be that effective anymore. It's all about pace in the Premier League. And we've got none of that. We don't have any pace. And Bournemouth have a lot of you know, pacey wingers, pacey strikers, Defoe, Ibe, you know, Josh King, Stanislas on his day. You know, I'm just worried that we're going to get outrun in that midfield yeah. against Bright, uh, Bournemouth. Sorry, But it's, it's seriously worrying times when Newcastle have done the double over you. All right, Luke, thank you very much. Cheers, pal. Thank you.